أنا طارق الباز أستاذ أمراض الكلى في طب الأزهر الرئيس السابق للجمعية المصرية لأمراض الكلى والرئيس المنتخب الحالي للجمعية العربية لأمراض وزراعة الكلى دكتور what do you think of ESNT 2018 I think this is a, a wonderful annual uh, event that gathers all nephrologists together and the good thing about what we are doing is not just gathering our uh, Egyptian uh, nephrologists the Gatala, uh, that are working in the field but we are also uh, collaborating with various societies within the region through me being involved in the Arab society and this is good to get people together from within the region. We have people from Saudi Kingdom, we have people from Jordan, from Yemen, uh, from Lebanon, from Sudan. Not only this, we have guests from Africa as well, Ghana and Ethiopia. Uh, so this is something good. Uh, to join forces between all these uh, countries and nephrologists uh, and to share experiences and to see what it is like uh, in these countries. This is something very good. Uh, we have a very big uh, number of uh, uh, people who uh, uh, registered uh, this year, maybe approaching 1,800, which is uh, the highest number uh, that we have ever achieved. The diversity of the scientific program also uh, is quite attractive because it fits the needs of various specialities within the field of nephrology itself. Uh, what's new in the field of nephrology and transplantation in 2018? Let me say that uh, a better understanding of how the immunological uh, processes uh, are, are working is revealing more and more very interesting uh, details that are approached by new uh, methods of therapies uh, to achieve better results. And this is what's new in transplantation, uh, that uh, the newer drugs are being developed in accordance with the newer pathways that have been uh, understood nowadays. We are now also uh, heading to the future of medicine in general and in transplantation in particular, heading to molecular uh, form of medicine, we are going to treat patients with a new vision related to their genetic makeup, meaning that someone can have a common cold or chest infection and take a particular antibiotic and it doesn't work while it would work with someone else. Why is this happening? Because there is genetic makeup for each and single person that make him susceptible to the response of a particular drug. So when we know this, we can individualize our therapies uh, to this particular genetic uh, consideration to get the maximum benefit and also to be able to avoid complications that may happen in a particular genetic uh, uh, profile. And this is happening right now in the field of transplantation to get the maximum benefit effects of immunosuppression and also using the same uh, investigation and same tools, we are also able to predict uh, various complications to be avoided and to say, no, I better not give this patient this particular drug because so and so is going to happen. And this is really a breakthrough, but within the coming decade, we're going to see the results because this technology is rather advanced, rather costly, but it is a breakthrough. Everyone's going to have a card in his pocket with his genetic profile that would dictate what to use and what not to use. Thank you very much.